Hello everyone, uh, this is Mandeep Burmi from ASA Driving School. In this video, we are in uh, Edmonton, Alberta and uh, I will be driving to a uh, Millwood area. Uh, approximately, the video will be approximately, um, um, I think, 10 or 15 minutes long. Um, as I drive, uh, I will cover, um, you know, some of the driving rules um, that will help you in your uh, basic and advanced uh, road test in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. So if you are uh, if you're looking for um, driving lessons um, in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, you can, um, you know, give uh, give us a call or uh, send us a text message. You guys see the number on the screen. That's our uh, driving school uh, phone number. So send us a message and uh, we will help you guys uh, with your driving needs. So let's get going. Um, any directional changes that you're doing in the parking lot, you have to signal. So. Uh, from this parking stall, I want to go to the right side, so I will signal right, check on both sides, make sure it's clear. And uh, you always, um, you want to stay in the right lane in a parking lot, because we treat them like a two-way street. Uh, if you see a sign for a one-way, then uh, you can uh, drive in the left lane as well, but this parking lot is like a two-way. So, and um, another very important point, anytime when you exit from a parking lot or before you exit, from a parking lot you are required to stop before the sidewalk then uh, complete stop before the sidewalk check on the sidewalk then you slowly roll forward and uh, you check traffic on the left looks clear and now we are good to go as you're turning right you want to keep your car closer to the right side closer to the curb if you're going uh, too wide on your turns um, that's going to be a demerit so now we are turning right so i will signal right your signal should be on about 30 meters before the intersection we have a yield sign and there is a crosswalk so no pedestrian on the crosswalk now i go forward to check traffic looks like the first lane is clear um that means i'm good to go because this is my first available lane and uh, if your first uh, available lane is clear um, that means uh, you are uh, free to go further down we will be turning left and uh, speed limit on this street is uh, 60 kilometers maximum um, so I want to start changing lanes. So for lane change, I will do the lane change uh, procedure. I look in my left mirror first and uh, there is a red truck so I can uh, let him pass and now uh, I can signal left. Now I just have to do a shoulder check uh, to make sure, uh, you know, there's nobody in the blind spot. It's always uh, very, uh, you know, you, you always want to do a shoulder check before you uh, move from one space to uh, another space. So let's do another lane change here. So mirror check, signal, shoulder check, looks clear. And now we are uh, changing lane. So we came into this lane. Uh, we're gonna try to change uh, one more lane. So same thing, mirror check, signal, shoulder check, and now we can move over. You can cancel the signal before the parking lot entrance. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, it can create interference or um, confusion. Uh, you know, it, it can mislead other drivers. So we are, uh, turning left at traffic light so I got my right uh, left signal on and uh, light is green so we are good to go if you're turning uh, like this intersection had uh, you know double lane because the left lane was only uh, for the left turns and uh, from the second lane um, you know there was overhead sign showing uh, you can go straight or left from the second lane uh, we are going straight from here so uh, green light checking on both sides railway tracks um, you can cover your brake check on both sides speed limit sign on the right hand side maximum 60 kilometers uh, you can drive around uh, 55 um, if you go over the speed limit that's going to be an automatic fail and um, if you're driving too slow without any reason um, that's a possible automatic fail as well because that can create interference with the other traffic this time the light turns temper but we are already in the intersection so that means we can just go through so amber light doesn't mean you have to stop it means you know if it's safe to stop then you stop because you don't want to slam on the brakes okay so now we see another uh, green light and uh, we are still uh, going straight from this intersection speed limit here is uh, 60 kilometers uh, I'm checking on both sides um, another speed limit sign on the right hand side maximum 60 kilometers um, so again uh, we are in uh, Edmonton Alberta uh, Millward area so um, if you guys are looking for driving lessons uh, give me a call send me a text message uh, we teach all over uh, Edmonton not just uh, you know not just in this area 
uh, and we are open every day including weekends and holidays <coughs> so we are uh, still going uh, straight from um, this uh, you know uh, from this intersection and uh, on the right hand side you can see there is a yellow sign showing the right lane is going to end speed limit sign on the right side maximum uh, 60 kilometers so we are doing about uh, 54 55 right now and now a red light is coming up so i'm slowing down and uh, i have to do a full stop before the stop line if you go over the stop line um, that's going to be a demerit so the front bumper of your car is should not go over the stop line so these are very good tips uh, okay and um, this will help you a lot um, doesn't matter if you're going for your you know basic or advanced uh, driving test so definitely what we are doing in this video uh, you know it's a very good information and um, yeah so you want to use it um, you know not just in your test um, in your day-to-day uh, -day driving as well if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, you know post your uh, questions in the comments below and um, I will do another video to answer um, all your questions